that noise? Damn it! I just had that dryer fixed. What the hell's going on? What's wrong with this door? Why can't I open it? What the hell is that light? Alan, there is nothing wrong with your dryer. What is that? You will find this hard to believe. I am a communicator from the future. I have to tell you something important. Oh, you know, this is not really funny. Who are you? You can call me R2. Oh, yeah, that's really original. You know, you look kind of like my Harman Kardon speakers. Well, that design was rather futuristic, but I have something important to tell you, and I do not have enough power to transmit too much longer. Well, you know what? I don't really have time for this crap. The people in the past never believe us. I always have to offer proof. Okay, in a few minutes you are going to get a call that why will change your life. Oh yeah? Well, I'm gonna change you. Just wait until I get inside of this thing. I even have to break off this door. Oh shit, it's the phone. Hi, this is Alan. Who? MacArthur? Yeah, right. Nice prank call, Jim Groom. Uh, yeah, that's me. Yeah, yeah, I, I did write that and I, I did those videos, yeah. You what? Are you serious? Okay. What do I need to do? Okay, got that. Okay, let me write this down. Okay. Yeah, I think I can be there. Well, thank you very much. Um, I, <laughs> I don't know what to say. I'm, um, I'm knocked over. I'm knocked over. Okay, mister from the future. Now you got my attention. So you got notified of your MacArthur Prize. Nice. You will do some great things with that time and freedom. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah. So it is imperative you use this opportunity to continue to spread the ideas about openness, the more of your stories, but you need to awaken people to what is possible via open education and sharing of knowledge. Well, heck, I've been doing that for like 18 years, you know, a long time. But if you and others I am communicating with do not, the future I know will not be. Okay, so, so tell me about it. From my time, the natural reflex is to share whatever we create. It is the norm. As you noted a few months back in your blog, Despite the number of great Flickr photos under Creative Commons, it is a fraction of the total. And that's different in your time? Indeed. Our saying is, if it is not shared, it does not exist. Yeah, but you know, people just feel like they're giving up too much. They're scared of it. They feel like they're, they're giving away, you know, everything that's of value. And, you know, just sharing everything makes people think of communists, and that really wasn't anything successful or worth bragging about. We are not idiots from the future. We are a capitalist society and innovators are rewarded. But in between now and my time, you are going to face real challenges of limited resources, water, food, energy. If you do not figure out a way of leveraging your strengths together, your way of life is doomed. Yeah, but, but why education, you know? I mean, why, why aren't you, like, you know, inside the dryer at the White House? Because this is where you can break a toehold in society, make the concept of open sharing, reuse, the natural way of thinking. When the crises come, your minds will be in a state that can use the same approaches to address them. <clears throat> but, you know, it really seems daunting. But you are on the right track. Just keep pushing the message. It's not about destroying schools or universities, but it's about helping them go about their mission in a way that takes advantage of abundances of information, 
the success by hoarding it is already showing signs of strain. But the future you live in sounds really good and we're definitely going to get there, right? It is by no means guaranteed. At this point, our best forecasts suggest that your world only stands a 37% chance of reaching our state of utopian society. It is time to ratchet things up, so I am one of many communicators sent to stir things up. Alright, well, you know, I guess I got a few things, well, a lot of things to do, you know, and with this award that, you know, MacArthur just gave me, you know, I think I can give it my full effort. I'll do what I can. Thanks for dropping by, R2. Um, but can you please go and let the door, you know, open up so I can, you know, finish drying my clothes? Okay. All right. Thanks a lot. MFFFFFF, HMMMMMM, MMMMMMMMM, MFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFF